Hey there, I am gonna show you all um, the Ozark Trail six person tent. I'm just gonna show you what I did. Now, I set this up in my backyard just so that you could see the size of it. And um, I will do a video on actually putting it up because it's really easy and it's a cute little tent. I think it's perfect for one person. Two might be pushing it a little bit, but I have everything in here that I need. Um, the little crunching going around that slate. He's walking around and he is now just slid under the bed. Um, he's decided that that's his place. Enjoy. Gonna add in just like every other video. If you like this, then please give me a thumbs up um, and subscribe because I'm gonna continue to try to do videos um, that show, especially women, that you can do this, that it's not too hard and don't let some of these things pull you in and make you think that you can't do it. There's little Miss Indy. She used to go camping. And of course, there goes Slade, too. Hello, Miss Indy. Now that you're a little bit older, you still want to go with us? Okay, Slade, we know that you go. Everybody gets to see you. Maybe we'll take you again, Indy. She's 21, so she's a little set in her ways and not sure she's wanting to get out and do a bunch of the crazy fun stuff that she used to do. So this is how much room that you have when you come in. I'm gonna take it back just a little bit so you can see. Now, I did have to duck when I came in, but I am standing straight up now. There's a cot. It's my cot. And I mean, this is perfect size for one person. Don't have the rain fly on. So the other pretty cool thing is this light. Okay, so here we go right here. They, they include a battery pack and you use, I think it's eight size D batteries or I just have in my anchor and I have it right inside that little pocket. Well, y'all know there was enough room in there. Putting it up there with one hand is a little bit hard. Okay, and then right over here is the light. I'll show you later what it looks like um, when it's dark so that you can see the light. Here's the light. That's low, medium, high. And you can see it's bright. Oh man, that's, wow, that's a great light. And then the actual, the button is lit. I don't know if that just stays on the whole night. Hmm, I wonder if that wears down the battery. So the little light did go off over there. It just stayed on for a little amount of time and then went off. So what I did, and you'll be able to see, I attached just a tarp, just for some shade. So, Right here, I'm not sure if you can see, I just put the little bungee wraps 
And then I bungee wrapped it right up here at the top, right through there. And then I did it again right here. Now, I have it going up right now, guys, because I was going up a hill. All right, um, so that's why it's going here. But then I just used a tent post, tent, tent pole, basically. And then just put them on there, put my guy lines. And so I have a tarp over top, which makes like a little porch. Yana, that's super cute, super cute, super cute. Again, here's the inside. I do have to duck a little bit to come in, but standing right here at the very top, I am standing straight up. And this is how much room for a toilet, a Lucy Lou. A chair, have my cot. Then I put stuff up under it, except Slade has actually liked going up under the bed. So, um, not sure what I'm gonna do about that. And the door does, I have it closed off right now, but it zips and then it has a half zip as well. So, that's a six person Ozark tent and like i said this is just extra this does not come with it um this was just me putting up a little tarp just to show that you can do like a little porch and i'm gonna go around the sides now i may not have staked in everything i just did some of it but i did want to show this quite a few people were concerned because there was nothing here in the middle you have a place to stake down over there and you have another place to stake down right there. You see my stakes. Like I said, I did not hammer them in or anything. I just did this for video purposes. What I did was I took a tarp clip and I put it on there, pulled it out and then just staked it. So of course, you know, I would hammer that in but that at least pulls that away. And you could do more. I would probably want to put maybe another one there and another one there, so maybe three on each side. But I did just wanna show you a way when people had talked about that there was nothing there in the middle to help pull it out for ventilation, that, um, that that's just a little jerry rig that you can do. So that's the window there. And then back here in the back, has the little vents. Birds have already pooped on there. Yeah, when I was putting this up, I was thinking, mm, it's right up under the tree where all the birds come through, but oh well. And then there you see it again. I stake down that side and just pull that out. And that works great. And that's it without the fly. And like I said, just a tarp. Again, the tarp's going up. But still, when the sun is back that way and the tarp is right there, it's still, it's awesome. Here's how I bungeed the tarp on for like just an extra little shade area is I, uh, this is a six by, oh, you know what? I don't remember, I'll write it up there. So anyway, I, in the middle, I think you can see right there. You see right there. There's one of the little bungee things. I put it through the middle and I just put it around the top of this. Then over here, same thing. It's just a little, those little bungee ball things that I got a million years ago, guys. So I am not sure, probably Amazon, but I accidentally bought like a ton. I only needed like five, but now I'm glad. This is many years ago, so I'm glad now. And then I did it over here on the same thing, on this side. So I just put it through there, attached it there, and then I attached it also 
right there on the side. I folded this down, folded that, and fold it there. So, that's what it looks like. It's kind of cute like that. Maybe you could put that on, I don't know, if you were camping and it was winter time and you needed an extra thing over it. I don't know, guys, I'm just kind of doing it. That's without the rain tarp, but I was able to kind of just throw the rain top on before. Um, and just worked it around there and I had to bunch it up in the front because this part interferes a little bit with it. Okay, so that's just my little tarp thing. I'll have to think of something to do with that when it's down. If you have any suggestions, maybe, and that's just cute. Maybe that just goes down if I'm leaving and I don't know. I don't want anybody to see in. Who knows? I don't know. But that's kind of cute. Here it is with no extra J rigs, no extra tarp. Just the doors open. That's just the front and this is without the fly. Here it is with the door closed, zipped and with the uh, mesh part being exposed. Keeps the bugs out, but lets the air in. And there you go. The six person uh, Ozark tent. And of course, you know, with six people that squished in. So I think it's perfect for one. And it was super easy to put up.